welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome I hope you guys stick around so this video I'm so excited to do because the moment that I ordered this I was waiting for so long for it to get here and it actually got here pretty fast now I had did a video of using the Morphe 350 palette and I love the palette it's beautiful I think Morphe um, eyeshadows and anything in general are one they're very inexpensive and are worth um, the money that you spend. I think the eyeshadows are nice and creamy, but it really wasn't describe me, but it is for a challenge and also a challenge for my other viewers that are more into the natural, more subtle eyeshadow looks. And of course, being a makeup artist, you do want to have a variety of different shadows in your kit and whatnot. I do do makeup um, for who some of the clients, whether it's for Halloween, whether it's for wedding, whether it's for pageants, for anything in general. And then I do have two girls, so I am, Destiny's already an 8th grader, so she's already going to go into high school this coming school year. And of course you have like events and stuff like that. So, and she's more into like the nice settles, um, eyeshadows. But this is going on too long for my intro. I just wanted to show you guys this new palette. I'm pretty sure by the title of it you already know what it is. And I... This is the first time I actually bought anything from this company. Um, I think the first time I saw anything of them was on Instagram. And then Nikki Tutorials did um, several videos of this brand. And this is the palette that it came in the mail. And this is the Zulu by Juvia's um, palette. They are not that expensive at all. It's about the same that you're going to pay for like a Morphe palette, I guess. Um, of course, Morphe is a bit bigger, but this one, I just love, love, love their packaging. It comes in a box that looks like I just threw it over there. I want to feel like getting it, getting it, getting it, just because it is the same thing. So, yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's all holographic. When my lights are hitting it, you can see how it's just so beautiful, and I just love, like, I always liked the whole, like, Egyptian type of designs and stuff like that um i just think it's just so beautiful i hope one day that i do get to visit egypt i think that'd be amazing but the palette is just so so pretty and the cool thing about it is the inside so this is what the inside looks like isn't that gorgeous oh my god this palette describes me 110 percent i am a girl that loves color i love the red lips i love the bright color on the eyes and i don't know i guess growing up i was just so used to using, using so much color that we had to um i wasn't dancing i've been a dancer since i was five and I traveled internationally with it and we had to learn how to do our makeup in the backstage. My parents weren't, my mom wasn't allowed sometimes in the back. So I had to learn how to do it. I think they were only had like two parents to help us with our hair, our shoes, some lashes or whatever. So I had to learn how to do that. And I guess from, and we always had to have a red lipstick because when you're on stage, they want that. The more that you do, the more you get to see it on a stage, you know what I mean, from back up. If you have light, you can't be able, to, you won't see it on stage and the cameras and stuff like that. So that's um, where I guess the colorness came from. But then again, I just love color, period. So when I saw this palette that they came out with, I was just like, oh my god. I don't remember where I saw it first. I think it was on Instagram when they posted this picture. And I was like, oh my god, those colors. And get this, it was only $25. So I was like, right away, I was like, mm -mm, I, I need this palette. It's just so beautiful. I've been wanting to get a palette from them. And I hope to get every single palette that they have because they are so beautiful and different. So... I will post their website on the description in the bottom if you want to check it out yourself. Um, now for my more natural girlies or boys, I believe they do have one that's more of a settled color. Um, I believe they do, but yeah, just check it out, um, and you never know. So this is just a beautiful palette. So this is the look that I created with it. Um, it just did a lot of, like, greens and mints and orange and, you know, that color. And I do want to do a, another look with this palette using these shades also. So it isn't just, like, a one look and then 
put to say. No, honey, we're going to do different looks for this palette. So this is just the look one that you are going to get. And I just kind of curled my hair. And this is the look. So without further ado, if you want to see how I did this look and you have this palette or you just want to see it in general or you just want to just like me, usually I just sit down, get my snack or get my food, have my drink and just watch YouTube because guess what? I love YouTube. <laughs> I love to watch other people's channels as well. And yeah, so this is going to be my first video for today. I'm going to have another video that I'm going to shoot for you guys since I didn't do one yesterday. Um, and I talk about the reason why later on. Just because Destiny had been really sick and she's still home um, trying to recover and meds. So anyway, without further ado, if you want to see this, then I keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with the Milani um, Make It Last. I always talk about this all the time. And yesterday I went to Walgreens and I'm so excited because they finally had two more. I mean usually when I go there's only one more or there is none which is most of the time. is mostly none. But I'm, I'm happy that they got another one. I really like the way this feels. I always do my prep with it and then I always set it with it. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the Benefit the Professional Matte um, Primer. It's my favorite primer. I got the little one. Um, I should have gotten the big one, but uh, at the moment I just didn't feel like spending 30 bucks for this. I don't like the original, but if you are like me who have oily skin, this is a really good primer. Um, so I'm just going to put this all over my face. I just love the way it feels. I like the way it sets, like primes my face for my foundation and it smells so good. It smells like, like fresh, like clean. I love that clean type of scent. Now I'm going to go in with my shape tape and just conceal any blemishes that I have. I'm just going to, I'm going to get a pimple like right on my lip. And yeah, I'm just going to like just dot this everywhere. And then I'm going to use my middle finger, which I have no now. I was supposed to go get it done like yesterday. And I didn't. Um, Destiny had been real sick the day before. Um, yeah, she took a shower and she almost like passed out. And then she was like really like, complaining about her neck, her back. And she was just like her fever, her cheek. When she's like sick, she hardly ever gets sick. And when she does, she gets sick. And her cheeks were like super red. And she got fever. And I was like, okay, you're not going to school tomorrow. I'm going to take you to the doctor. So, we went to the doctor's and, like, her blood count level was low for, like, the flu test or whatever. Because he thought that she had the, he was getting the flu. Sure enough, she was, um, it wasn't completely the full flu, but they caught it on time. So, we are taking meds, well, she's taking meds to, um, cure it. I'm trying to find the words here. So, and he didn't want her to go to school today. So if you hear any noise in the back, she's laying down on the couch in her nice, comfortable clothes, pajamas, and just watching movies. But, yeah, I had something to do yesterday, and I had to cancel that um, because she was sick. So I'm just going to do that. Then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Foundation. I did a review on this. If you want to check the video out, um, I just, this is like my, my third time going to try this. I actually really do like it. Um, if you are like oily and blemishes and you need full coverage or whatever the reason, this is a really good foundation. I actually um, like it. And I'm just going to go ahead and just apply this with my beauty sponge. It's actually for contour or something. I don't know. It's for Morphe. I talk about this all the time. And I know Jacqueline Hill has been talking about it too. Um, it's just a really good sponge. I actually love the sponge so much from like one of my tools to use to apply my makeup. I really, really like this. Piper is just laying down on the thing. I did my eyebrows off camera. I went ahead and used the John Ted Blue um, eyebrow. And it's in gray. I did a whole video about this product and I really like it crying because she wants to go outside and I took her outside. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyes with the Too Faced Insurance. I like to use this stuff. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with this. 
So when I got this palette yesterday, I was so excited. I was like, you know, those are my colors because they're so bright and stuff. And I know that I'm always talking about a specific palette that I use, like for color. And it's by a Bed Hair, which is this one right here. And I don't think they sell this palette again no i know they don't i don't even know if they're still doing um palettes or where you can buy them i know i got this at a hair show that i went to so i did get it in like a discounted like professional slash student price um piper so like with things like that and then you're like well how what are we going to use this palette would be really good as a like um a dupe for that because these I, this is my first time buying um, something from them or owning anything from this company. And this is the the Zulu by Juvia's palette. Look at this. Like, the when you move in the light, like, it's just so pretty. It's, like, holographic. And if you know me, I like anything holographic. And, oh, it's so pretty. Like, this whole Egyptian style. And then... It, you open it and it's just I mean I know I showed it to you guys but look at that like that is just beautiful 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 colors and I just love colors like you have no idea <clears throat> so what do I want to use okay so first I know that we're gonna go ahead and get a blending brush like this because we're gonna go ahead and put it in the crease area because that's what you got to do and I think I want to use like the greens and yellows and all that. So what I'm going to end up doing is picking up this beautiful bright yellow color. I like to use yellow a lot like if I'm doing bright. Um, depends on the look of course as my crease area. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I've never used eyeshadows like I've never used this brand before. So we're just going to go ahead and try this out. Um... So yeah, so this palette was $25 and uh, you cannot beat that one. The packaging is amazing. The colors are amazing. And so far they're very like pigmented, which is a good thing. And then that's three. And then the price, you cannot beat that. So, it's just so, so pretty. I'm going to go back in with this yellow and kind of just back and forth. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Like, I think if I were to ever, like, do my own palette or anything, it would be, like, so, like, bright and colorful like this. Because that's what I like. You know what I mean? So next I'm going to pick in this other shading brush. It's kind of a little bit dirty from Tarte. I was using it yesterday. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with this really pretty like till color. Um, so that's the one I'm going to pick up. Just kind of just dab it in there. And then tap. And then I'm just going to go underneath it. Look at that dimension. Like... It's so pretty. Like, I just love color. Now, I know some people are, like, afraid to use color. Or they're afraid that they're not going to look good on them. Or they're afraid that they don't know how to, like, blend. Um, You just got to blend, guys. And just, like, play with it. Even if you're not going anywhere, I always just say, just sit down, do your makeup, play with color. Not necessarily you have to go out like that, but just play with it and see what it does or what you create. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's just some people I know that want and I've seen it in person and they don't blend and you just see like harsh lines. So it's just like key to it. It's just blending and it's just mixing and see what you create. I mean, it's like... I say it's kind of like food when you're cooking. I mean, you're going to try something, but you don't know what's going to come out good, so you try these spices. You know, something like that. My little shade brush, and this is the one from Tarte. And I'm going to go in with this really pretty um, teal color one right here. I'm going to pick that light 
that one has shimmer in it so i'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up and put that just halfway because we're gonna put another color so oh my god look at that so we're just gonna put this just like so pretty like oh I found my favorite palette so far like of color oh my god and that's because I have another palette of color and I'm like so like of color of course everything has color like all the palettes April but like bold colors like that and I'm so excited to try that um and we are going to probably do that palette tomorrow not probably we are I'm gonna use that palette tomorrow because it's just that other one is just a pretty color like it's a beautiful palette and it's really popular right now but i don't want to mention it because i don't want to ruin it for you guys but um but yeah so oh that's just so pretty okay now that we have the inner we're going to go ahead and pick up this green one right here, that bold green one. So that's all we're using is just the greens and the yellows. And so we're going to go ahead and pick up that green and tap and then just kind of in the corner like this and kind of just blend it in. Let's pick that up a little bit and kind of blend it in. See how when you do this and you see a line like that, you always have to just like swipes and like kind of just blend it because if not, it's going to look like a really harsh line. And I just like to do like that. I'm going to blend everything. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this really pretty orange right here. And I'm going to pick that very lightly with this same brush that I used earlier. And just very light. And then just go in lightly and blend it. I'm just going to add a little bit of orange. And just kind of blend. You need to pick a little bit more. Go ahead and do so. start off with very little that way you know that you have control over it because if you go straight in there it was just like crazy and it's not coming out as bright because it I it's mixing all the colors that I have on here which is okay so I'll just pick up more and enhance that little bit of orange in there and that's basically all I'm doing. I kind of covered this area. Not to worry. You're going to pick up the same brush that we use. Go back in with that green and just apply a little over it. Just to bring it out some. And there you have it. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. So let's pick up that green. And go over it to bring out that color a little bit more. You see? And if you wanted to, you can pick up some of that blue. Turn the, I'm turning my brush around. And just apply a little bit. And make it pop a little bit more. You see how it's enhancing that color? To go over with some of the ones that we blended. And there you go. Um, palette doesn't have any color for like to have like, your eyebrow. I'm going to go ahead and go in with this small little Too Faced chocolate bar. You don't necessarily need to have this little one. If you have the original big one, it's going to be in there. I'm going to use Champagne Truffle, which is this one right here. It's just, I love the way I smell. It's just a beautiful like has like a nice little glow to it. I'm going to go in with this little angle brush that I always use and always talk about. Um, and I'm just going to go right underneath because I actually want this to pop. You know, um, we're going all out. We're going bold. So might as well do the whole chip bang bang and do this. 
and see how it adds like the glow to it and that's all I'm gonna do um, for this so I'm gonna go in with my Tarte shape tape I'm in the shape light medium and do this um, eyeliner again if you've been seeing my videos I talked about it I like to do this step first before I do the liner or the bottom part of like the lashes and stuff again if you don't like you like to do this first than anything then by all means do you boo but this is what I do again there are no rules on how to do like what order or anything like that you do how you want but this is how I do mine and this is all I'm gonna do I really like this shape tape concealer but you use any concealer that you like and yeah and so I'm gonna go in with my beauty morphe sponge again I'm gonna go in with my Mac fix plus spray that down and just kind of push the product into my skin I love this like you have no idea with the MAC Patrick Star setting powder I like to use this for like to set my makeup but I love to use this with this brush I talked about which is I don't know it's a small contour W07 and this is by slimming glam I think is what it's called I can't really read that because it's in like gold um, and I just set it with this kind of brush and I like to just go underneath every like the main point I will set everything else up using a different brush but for this part I like to set it with this brush and I like to set what I had on here and then set what I like the nose area because that's what I was doing and then just the top part and then the bottom part and that's how I do mine Yes, I am. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contour. And I'm going to use my Fenty Contour and Mocha Stick. I like to use this. I talk about it all the time. And I'm just going to go from the temple right here. Bring it down here. And then my nose area. It's not major like huge like contour. I'm just going to like just do right here so in with this little trio contour palette from city colors i just got this in in my empty and i've been loving it i like to use the middle shade that one this one right here with my contour brush from real techniques i love this brush as well i'm just gonna pick that middle one and i'm just gonna go over what i just contour and just kind of blend that all in Blend, blend, blend. That's all I'm gonna do. So, are y'all ready for Valentine's Day? Cause I am. So, people are talking about, or maybe it's just one person I saw, are talking about doing like a Valen Miss Valen vlog. I don't know what they're naming it, but it's just basically like a Vlogmas, which is like vlogging every day for Christmas. So, they're talking about doing a Valentine one. I think that's a pretty cool idea. I, I did a vlogmas this year and I actually was proud of myself because I did vlog like every day. I think I messed up like maybe once or twice but I made up for it because I shot like two videos. Or I just added that that day um, to it. Like I added like 22 to 25th because I had like doing different things. And I didn't have enough footage for like that one day. But I combined it all and it still came out good. So I don't know. I might be doing that for Valentine's Day as well. I miss vlogging. I like vlogging, even though my life isn't all that great, like, exciting to do, like, you know, stuff every day. But I do have a trip coming up, and I can't wait to do that because I need a, I need a trip, big time. I did not sound right. I need a trip. You know, a little, a little vacation type of thing. So I went ahead and did that. Now I'm going to go in with my liner and I'm going to use the e.l.f. one like I've been talking about. I really like this black one and I'm trying to use all of it up. I have backups. So that's all I'm going to do. I was going to use like a color liner but I think it's going to be just too much. 
and we'll just do color on the bottom part. So we're going to go ahead and use this black one and I'm just going to go in. Jessie's watching YouTube. I can hear her. Her phone like all loud. Uh, I think it's time to open up. So guys, I didn't open anyone. I still had some in here. It was all like arrancate papa, so we can go. You know. Okay. So. Doing that, I think I'm going to go in with my blush right away. And what blush do I want to use? I think I'm going to use this peach one. I want to bring in a little bit of color. So I really like this Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. And you can tell I use it a lot because the indention is like there's no more peach in the hair. And I like to use my Wet and Wild um, blush brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop this in here because I really like this blush. I was going to use the um, NYX Turn Up the Heat one, the orange one, but I thought I should use this one. I think using an orange blush is like really pretty too for this look. So... This tart brush, it just gets some more of that MAC Patrick Star collab powder, and I'm just gonna set everything up and just kind of set it in the waterline. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green, it's number 624A. I love these things, um, they just the one I had problems with for some reason is the white one. It gets everywhere. So I'm just going to go in the bottom right here and just apply this. And see how it pops. Like, bring it in with the same palette, this beautiful palette. I'm going to go in with this. Uh, Kat Von D shade of light brush. I'm going to go in with this side and I'm going to pick up this really bright um, orange color and just kind of just pick a bunch of it up and then, and then I'm going to add some dimension and just go underneath and use this orange. I'm going to kind of go all the way right here. that and then I'm gonna do this side head and go in with the elf mascara I'm just using it all up it's not like the best mascara but it's it's all right you know and I'm just gonna use this and I feel like watching someone put mascara is a bit boring so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my lashes guys and then I'm gonna go in with the tart Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I really like this mascara. So for lashes, I'm going to go in with the Vintage Cosmetic Company Lashes in the style Nancy. And they look like this. So, okay, so the lashes are on. I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Lipstick. Kind of reminds me of the packaging. Reminds me of Jeffree Star lipstick. Especially the black one, which is the Manny collab. You see how it kind of re resembles it. Um, so yeah. But I'm going to go in with this one and try this out. It's the only one I bought, guys. So I know I tried it once. But I don't know. It's in the shade Flame of the Game. So let's see. It's okay. I heard 
bad and good reviews for this. So, it goes on light, and then I guess you have to build it up. It dries a little bit sheer at first. I don't know. I do you're gonna have to apply it twice. If you get that more color. It's kinda like a polish kind of, you know how you have to apologize your nails twice to get that good color and cover. Looks like. So now we're going to go ahead and set our makeup. I'm going to go use with a Boshia. I'm going to use this one. And then I'm going to top it off with a different one. I love with nozzles. Or good nozzles. And then I'm going to try the, put this Milani over that one. Because you can never have too many. Whew. I'm going to go do my hair and then I'll be right back. It for this video. I hope you guys like this video as much as I love creating it and filming it for you guys. So yeah, I love it. These lashes I'm getting used to because I've never worn anything that's like more like short, a little bit lighter. But yeah, I hope you guys love this video. Um I have another video for you guys tomorrow. It's another beautiful look that I'm going to be doing with you for you guys. Um, it might be the, the same palette or it might be another palette that I do have that it's still there and I haven't filmed and I'm just like itching to get into it. So we'll probably use that palette and then we'll do another one. So I have so many videos for you guys this week. I'm so excited to film. I just love it. Um, I just, it's just... I love doing videos and connecting with you guys and even though my channel is small, I just... I don't even care if I only have one person that watches my videos. If you love what I do, I will be here and show you guys the different things. So, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys like this. And, yeah, so don't forget to slam that subscribe button and ring that bell for future videos. Um, until next time, I will see you guys tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.